This is Halki, a small island with 250 inhabitants deep in the south of Europe. Its solar-powered electricity grid is the first fruit of the GR Echo Islands project. Within that framework in 2021, an energy community was established to support the social economy. This solar park is producing 1.8 gigawatts of electricity per year. The project is estimated to have reduced the CO2 footprint by 2,576 uh, tons, which is equivalent to 617 conventional cars emissions. Uh, so at the same time, uh, almost a quarter of a million, 260,000 uh, euros, uh, have been saved through the production of uh, the green energy, which is an amount uh, sufficient to cover the costs for over 200 families that uh, exist on the island. Household electricity bills on the island are now zero euros. And for small businesses like this shop in the port, there have been big savings. My last bill is uh, 1,500. So it's uh, a big difference because uh, I wait to come about 8,000 euro. The project provides free electricity for vehicles on the island, with the police one of its users. A 5G network has been included, enabling telemedicine and tele-education, significantly improving the quality of life for the local population. The model will now be transferred to many other islands in Greece. The Greek government takes Halki as an example. It's taken funding from the European Union to take the GR Echo concept to other islands in Greece. If I remember correctly, approximately 1 billion euros. This small community deep in the south of Europe is thrilled to share its experience, but also to hear similar experiences from elsewhere that could enrich this venture into energy democracy and new technologies. As we were leaving, the mayor was preparing to host a large delegation from South Korea. It wants to adopt Halki's example for its thousands of islands.